Two minute math. Math in about two minutes. If it doesn't work, double your money back. Well, two times nothing is still nothing. Before you measure, you need to determine which ruler side you're going to use. Often it will tell you inches or centimeters. If you don't know if something is inches or centimeters, you can look to see if it's base 10 or what base it is. As I look between the 2 and the 3, there are many different tick marks. As I count the number of tick marks between 2 and 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, there are 16 tick marks between 2 and 3. That means there's 16 units between those two numbers. This is going to be base 16. If I were to turn this around and look at how many units there are between the 2 and the 3 on this side of the ruler, it's a lot smaller, but these units are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's 10 units between the 2 and the 3 on that side of the ruler. Besides it saying centimeters, this is base 10, that's metric. We'll go back to the standard side. Some rulers will only have 8 marks between each of the numbers. That means it's base 8 and it's measuring to the 8th of an inch. This ruler is base 16, that means it's measuring to the 16th of an inch. I'm now ready to use this ruler to measure the Rochester Hills line. Almost every ruler I've ever used has a blank spot at the beginning so that you can use the ruler year after year and even though some of the parts might wear down or chip away, you can still start anything that you're measuring at the zero mark. So I'm going to start this right at the zero mark. I see that this line, I have three whole inches and when I zoom in towards the end here, I can see that at the end, I have one tick mark past the three inch mark. That means that this line is actually three and one sixteenth of an inch long. The last line we'll measure is the Troy line, starting at the zero mark. Remember that two tick marks means one inch, or inches. One tick mark would mean one foot or feet.